Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to make lines of rounded corners in Illustrator. The process is really easy and yeah, in the process we might as well make this metro or subway map type of thing. So yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is just lay down some lines. So what we want to do is grab our pen tool up here and just come down to our color thing here. Make sure we don't have any fill by clicking on what should be the uh, full square there and just hitting this little slash and then just bring our stroke to front so we can color it later. Now we want to set our stroke to a decent thickness so I'm just going to set it to about 10 point. Cool. So when we look at subway maps on like Google Images or something we notice that all the lines are at either a 45 degree or 0 or 90 degree angles. So to maintain this while we're drawing lines we want to hold shift while we click through and draw our lines. So just hold down shift and just start clicking and we'll make some lines here like so. And you notice that um, holding shift will constrain it to either a 45 degree, 90 degree or 0 degree angle. Cool. So to start a new line just hold control and just click off anywhere and then we can just start and draw a new line here. And again hold shift just to constrain everything. Again, holding control. There we go, that'll do for now. With our lines all done, now we want to make these corners all round. So, to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to press control A and now select them all. Then we're just going to come up and go effect, come down to stylize, and round corners. And it's going to bring up this little dialog box. Now, we want to pop in the same radius is the width of our strokes. So we set our stroke to 10 points. So we're just going to type in 10 point and that should give us relatively the same size round corners. Now the reason why I do this is because if you if you type in something a bit higher or lower it tends to start looking funny. So if we just keep the uh, radius the same size as the stroke things look alright. So we'll just hit OK and now apply that effect there. Now if you ever want to come back and change the size of those corners, you can just come down to your appearance dialog box here. Or if you don't have it, you just go window appearance. And then you can just click on the rounded corners one here. And it'll bring bring up our our dialog box again so we can just change that willy-nilly. Alright, so that's the hardest part over. Now all we have to do is colour our lines different colours and just set in little round circles for nodes, and we'll have the startings of a pretty nifty looking subway map. Alright, so select the color, um, to change the colors of the lines it's easy as selecting them and we'll just come up to our stroke and we'll just choose a color. I might choose blue for that one. Go red for that one. And green for that one. So yeah, there you go. So uh, now we're just going to draw little circles on the um, where everything connects just to uh, represent changeovers or stopping points or whatever. So to do this what we're going to do is we're going to set our stroke to black. So just making sure our stroke's set up on the front. Just hit black and we'll just set a full to white like so. Um, for the stroke size I'm just going to bring it down to about 4 pixels and then just select our ellipse tool from here. And then notice how I've got these little lines coming up now these are called smart guides. A lot of people turn them off because they think they're annoying but um, once you figure out what they're actually doing they're pretty useful. So to turn them on you just go to view and just tick your smart guides there and pretty much what they do is they snap your point to the center of paths or they line them up to other paths and that sort of thing. So once you get both of those paths lining up you just hold alt and shift and we'll just draw out a circle like so. Cool. Now we're going to copy that and just paste it in and then grab our pointer tool and just grab it from the center and again it's going to snap it in place like so and we'll just repeat that for all the intersections or whatever like that and there you have it, you have the basic foundations of a metro subway map Now if you want to um, 
obviously continue on with this map and extend the lines you don't have to draw a new line here all you have to do is grab your pen tool and just come to the end of one of these lines and you'll notice that your pen tool will have this little backslash that would mean that you're starting to you're just continuing continuing on from that point so you can just click it down from where that backslash is and just continue on drawing like so so there you have it our beginnings of what could be a really complicated and intense metro subway map um, obviously you can name the nodes if you're feeling really keen and make something extensively huge but you know that's up to you um, hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial if you have uh, feel free to hit the like button also subscribe if you want to um, I'll be making more tutorials like this in the near future so yeah have a good day.